Hello there everyone, Quinnicky D here, welcome back to another video, and today I am here with another house build collab. So this is another one of those half build, half furnished collabs, and as you could probably tell just by the first couple seconds of the video, I got the furnishing part. So if you want to go see the build part, go over to Sugar Plum Sims' YouTube channel. Now, listen, I love her videos. Um, her builds just absolutely fascinate me. Like, I think they're abs they're, they're amazing. So, I knew that I wanted to do a collab with her. So, I went on Twitter and I asked her. And this has been a long time, like, in the making. Like, I think we've been working on this for about a month. Like, for like three weeks or so. Kind of deciding when to upload, you know, what we were going to do and things like that. So, we just decided basically on doing a half build, half furnish. But the interesting part was... I did not know what the house was going to be. Now, listen, she is so nice and so kind. Ob like, it, the thing about Simmers is that the way they are in their videos, like, that, they're, they're so real, okay? Like, she is so nice, and when I was, like, on Twitter with her, she's like, what do you want me to do? I was like, oh, just surprise me. So, like, I got this beautiful, like, Tuscan-style family home. Like, I, I did not even know. I told her, like, I don't really like building too big, blah, blah, blah. So she totally catered to my needs or like, you know, whatever. But I loved this, like the outside of this house. But the inside, the floor plan is so weird. I did not know what to do with it at all. I really tried my best. Like this is literally my third attempt. Like I already built a whole living room before this and I scrapped it. The living room is probably like my favorite room in the house. So I, I love, I just love the way it turned out. The kitchen is the weird part. You will see when the time comes. I spent so long coming up with the design for this kitchen. Now listen, it is it is my fault that, that the kitchen is weird. Um, yeah, sure, like the the floor plan is a weird shape, but the house is beautiful. I just could not come up with an idea for this kitchen. It's like right smack in the middle of this room. I was like gonna flip flop the living room and the kitchen, but like to me this worked best. It looked like this is what it was meant for, but in the end it kind of turned out weird, especially with the way that I put the stairs like. They're weird. They face the opposite way than the stairs would usually face. Like, you have to walk through the kitchen in order to get upstairs. Listen, it's not ideal, but when you see the finished product, you're going to be like, wow, Nicholas, you're good. So, here's this um, thing I took forever doing. I decided, to, like, I wanted to make some sort of island thing. It never actually worked. Spoiler alert. But, like, I just... I don't know. I wish I could have done it, but it just didn't fit in this space. So, yeah. Also, I am very sick. So, if I cough or sneeze or something, I'm going to try to bleep it out. So, if there's weird cuts everywhere, that's why. But, yeah. We're going to, we're going to, I'm going to troop or troop. I'm going to troop through this. Build, push through. I don't even know. Okay. But, anyways, I'm super excited to see her half of the video because I want to see her mindset. Like, the last one of these collabs I did was with, um, Oh my gosh, Simmerky, right? Um, and then I did, well, I kind of did one with um, Miss Griffey, but hers was like a furnish off that we did, so we both furnished the house. But I love watching other perspectives, and you guys should go totally watch the other perspectives too, because you see their thoughts and things from building this. And I also love, like, just, you know, I, I just love watching other Simmers that are not, like, quote unquote, famous. Like, I just love watching. A lot of the simmers that I end up watching on YouTube are, like, smaller YouTubers, like Thomas and Tanya, um, Miss Griffey, and, uh, Simmerkey. Like, those are the kind of simmers I watch because I love them so much, but... And Sugar Plum Sims. Like, I... I literally love watching them, and it's so... It's so cool that I actually get to collab with people that I watch, so... You know, it's not like... I usually don't really ask people to do collabs if I don't necessarily watch them. Because I don't want to be like, oh, let me just, you know, go. Because, I, you know, I want views. I want subscribers. Like, that's not that's not me. I like to just have fun with, like, my quote-unquote friends. Like, I feel like I've made friends over YouTube. And it's a great thing. If you guys are thinking of starting a simming channel. Or if you guys are from um, Sim Sugar Plum Sims' channel. And you're here, like, completely. Like, I really suggest if you don't have a youtube channel that you start one because it's so much fun all right this thing right here i tried to make a vase of some sort it it just it it was interesting okay i put like a different flower in a vase i kind of it turned out kind of nice but yeah i went for a little pinkish theme here in the dining room it's very like an informal dining room but it's still nice um so tomorrow or like actually today for you guys but like i'm recording or i'm like voiceovering this the night before um I have homecoming tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. Um, 
I, I don't know. Homecoming's always fun. We're not having a dance this year. We're just having the homecoming game. But I'm probably going to go to, like, Buffalo Wild Wings with my friends afterwards, which I am excited for. Do you guys love Buffalo Wild Wings? Give this video a thumbs up if you love Buffalo Wild Wings because... I love it. Oh, in total, this build probably took me around, I think it was 49 minutes, if you count this trial, but, like, the rest of them, everything was, like, an hour and 30 minutes, honestly, because I just could not get a hold of it. So, once again, this upstairs was interesting. I fit three bedrooms in the end. One of the bedrooms is super duper tiny. I was only gonna do two, but, I don't know, I felt like we needed a third, like, in the end, I think, like, you could probably fit five sims in here, just, you know, like, whatever. This is the little boy's room, but, like, I made it twin toddler, a twin toddler room, so there's two kids here, there's a girl's room, and then there's the master bedroom, so, it, like, you could probably fit five people in this house, like, probably no more than that. Plus, there's only, like, one small bathroom, so it's kind of squeezing a little bit, but there, I don't know, you'll see in the screenshots, but there's, like, a pool in the backyard and everything, or you could just see here, the beautiful driveway. I just love everything about this house, I honestly do, so... This is what I do with the little boy's room. I think it looks... I think it turns out really cute. Okay, I did forget to take a screenshot of this, but... <coughs> Excuse me? I did forget to take a screenshot of this, but... Um... It, you know, it is what it is. You guys can see it now. Um, I, do, I also do really apologize for coughing. It, like, I don't know. All of my friends were sick, and my brother got sick. My dad was sick, and I was like, alright. Like, I tried so hard. I'm always, like, the last one to get sick. Like, I really am, because... I hold out for so long, like, from protecting myself from people. Like, if my friends are sick at school, like, I'm really cautious around them. But, like, I just couldn't this time around. Uh, I, you know, I'm always the last victim, so I'm always the odd one out. Like, my friends got over their cold. I always, there's one specific friend at school that, like, she's been in my videos before. But I always get sick, like, a week after her. Like, she, we literally, she literally, since I'm around her so often, transmits whatever she has to me. Like, every single time, I swear to God. Um... It's so, it's like the same thing too. It's like she, last week, she had like um really stuffy nose headache. And then like right now at this very moment in time, I have a really stuffy nose headache. But okay, this is like totally unrelated to the video. But I guess people like these, like just talking, right? Um, I guess so. You let me know. Do you like me talking? Should I make a podcast? I don't know. Okay. Um, <coughs> like, what was I going to say? There, I forgot what I was going to say. It, it's like, was I going to say that she gets, she gives me like the same exact thing? Like. What was I gonna say? Hold on, I have to go back and listen. Okay, guys, I never actually finished my sentence from before, so I have literally no idea what I was gonna talk about. But anyways, um, I, I don't even know what to talk about anymore. <laughs> um, in school today, I guess I was just going to school today. In school today, like, the weird part about having like, a stuffy nose and everything is that you're always stuffy when you're sitting down. But, like, when you're standing up, you're not stuffy. So, I tried to stand up as much as I could and everything and whenever i had like a class with like a very lenient teacher i would always like just be standing because i couldn't sit down and i would get stuffy also i had like a half day today which if you guys i mean i'm sure a lot of you guys have half days but um a half day is like when you get to go to school go leave school early i i'm i know that sounds pretty stupid that i'm explaining that but i don't know some maybe some people don't have half days or something anyways um i had oh yeah i accidentally went to the menu here um i had a half day today so my lunch period was at 9.50 in the morning. It was so early, and guess what? I had two slices of pizza. Giant, too. Like, I got my money's worth today. Um, so that was interesting. I had pizza and one cookie for breakfast. Um, and then I ended up actually eating lunch lunch around, like, 2, two o'clock. And then I just ate dinner at 8. So, yeah. I have to go to sleep, honestly, because I, I just can't. So tomorrow, what was, I don't even know what I was going to say before. I'm really mad about it, too. But we are nearing the end of the video, or nearing the end of what is the the build part of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're here from Sugar Pump Sims' channel, I'm sorry for the awkwardness, but like this is what you get here. I always say it's quality content, and um, yeah, I mean, what more could you ask for? All right, let us get into the screenshots. All right, guys, so here is the front of the house. It is beautiful. Here is the back of the house. There's a couple of views I took here, and you can see, like, the pool in the back. Here's another view of the pool. I just, I love how she furnished the outside, too. It, it's so helpful for me. And then here's, like, a, a f f top-down view of the first and second floors. They look much better in, like, the regular views. Like, look at this gorgeousness. I love the way this house looks. Um, 
I will be putting it up on the gallery soon. But guys, remember, if you were from here, go watch Sugar Plum Sims is making this. It is, I'm sure it's going to be great. I cannot wait to see it. Go subscribe to her. If you guys are here from her channel, subscribe to me. I make new videos like this all the time. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like it to pick up. And I'll see you guys all again next time. Goodbye. Woo.